Hello and welcome to my coding session. I must admit it was quite challenging. <laughs> uh, what I mean, uh, first of all, let me just introduce my project for people who are just probably didn't uh, start to view my coding sessions in my project introduction. So I am creating this application. I'm a product owner and developer and I'm developing Bucket Manager a usable JavaFX application. Here is the site at GitHub. If you have an int if you like it, you can visit the site and take and read in, and read the information. So let me just uh, briefly show my agenda for today. I need to switch to the whiteboard. So currently I have XML reader, I have set model class and I have set info object. I am actually working the XML reader class is a class which reads the XML file and creates a JDOM document. JDOM document. The set model creates a JDOM document. Uh, I mean, sorry, <laughs> it uses JDOM document and creates set information object. And set information object consists of the data which was read, which was read by the set model from the JDOM document. So set info object. So once again, I draw the line. So set model access the XML document reader class, and the response is a JDOM document. JDOM document. Uh, the set model after after reading JDOM document creates a set information object, which consists uh, the the information uh, the information data, which describes a satellite one satellite. And let me switch back to my environment developer environment. So I did. Did, did got a challenge actually it was pretty previously a tedious job and i didn't record it so uh, my last my last work my last session because i didn't get it true i got up in the problem of uh, iterating over second level of the nested xml file so let me just quickly explain why I got a challenge so I can previously I did show you that, can, that I can read this XML line set name and, the, and that's it now next uh, next task will be to read this line to read the uh, childs of the of the set element so I have here name is a attribute, it has a value and so on. I did uh, took time and consideration and I just created m some sort of a prototype. This is another project. Here is this file, XML parser, and I got this pretty good at work. Let me just uncomment this part, so you can clearly see that I got this working. And for prototype, I don't use TDD because it's a prototype. It just create and forget. I don't use uh, this in pr in production. And I just created the prototype just to, to give you some overview. So. Yeah, it's a lot of information. Probably it will be better if I let me just quickly think. Symbol rate when I just 
do it like this. I think it's, it should be sufficient. And after that I have a breaker. Alright, so breaker will be added. Let me just execute it. Okay. Oh, oh I forgot to after symbol rate I need I need this and probably what I have created here. After symbol oh, after the frequency I need some space. I don't need this. Uh, probably then it will be oops, then it will be better with the result which I'm getting here. Polarization fact inner. Yeah, it's like formatting. It's always last point. <laughs> uh, so so and so on. Well, that looks better. So I just showing you the result of my um, of of my previous work uh, frequency. What I have forgotten system plate LN. Do I need? Let me let me just quickly think. I just need to add some space. I, I wish to have a better output output over you so now it looks better all right so I need to write here frequency amount numbers elements Elem elements doesn't matter what is matter that I can read my satellite XML to the full extent um, I did uh, read the JDOM API it wasn't not so I will say it wasn't so obvious but I found actually good explanation I did read about the get children in JDOM document uh, I mean you can think that some people know all of possibilities of methods and so on but I'm pretty forgetful person what about uh, things with the IPI and I'm always looking in the documentation uh, at some point I don't need it but uh, many, many times I look in the documentation and found it useful like in this case so my problem was to just to pass the two levels deep in the XML and I did solve it so I'm just the card is here like I said earlier is a prototype it's not used in my production or in development in my project but I written just to understand how the XML is structured so you see that I'm reading the XML and I'm reading first uh, the attributes in the first level then I read the attributes in the second level and I'm I can iterate it and I can when I execute it let me just go so I have here the name of the satellite uh, the flex the position then I calculate the numbers which I got so I mean the frequency numbers I mean the I'm uh, this is actually I'm counting the rows I will say the rows of frequency and this is uh, exactly 110 for the satellite name Sirius and then I have here Hotbird this is exactly 202 elements and then I will do the same with Astra and I getting, uh, I'm getting 139 elements and so on and so on and so on so now I got my, my result and when I execute my tests let me just go back
So I'm executing all of my tests which I have written. And it's clearly sufficient enough. So this is what I this is what I got so far. I think as I said at the beginning the big challenge for me is just work with XML because it's very verbose and some sort of a nested uh, type of data structure but yeah it's struggle struggling and some heavy work at, at the beginning but I'm getting through of it so let me just show you the part where I'm using my knowledge about how to how to how to parse uh, and add information so you see here that I'm using the that I am going through so actually it's happening here actually it happening here parsing second level XML and then the result of this parsing is uh, a list of integers which I actually add to my transponder of satellite frequency list and this list I forward to the setting up data for sat information object and so on and so on so at, at the result at the result of all of this I'm getting my sat information objects as I said earlier where, where's my I just okay let me just I was deleted uh, all right so any anyhow I have here I have fee, I have here my model my XML reader and set information objects so I just briefly briefly show you so set model I would say set X XML reader and so se set information object so satellite model access xml reader gets jdom document and after that i'm creating set information objects actually I have more than than one so with this let me just delete it unneeded things so with this uh, knowledge I'm very proud to be able to proceed further and now I need to make a decision what what is the next task what what I should do next and I will say I need to read another data from the satellite XML and I need to read symbol rate. The symbol rate is. Let me just show you the domain domain knowledge about symbol rate. So symbol rate, how long can be symbol rate? Is actually I have here three. Three, six, seven, eight, eight numbers, and I think it it should be it should be enough to make it true. So let me just do it right, and I need to write a test. For my set information, uh, for my set information, sat information object. And what I shall do? Mm -hmm. So I'm hitting here. I am creating another failing test. So basically, I can check if the object is not null. I can check is that the length of of the number is eight. So 
what I should write here, what I'm actually trying to check. And I'm actually thinking about to, to check it in set information object. Basically, I would write a test check if and I will actually just check if uh, if uh, symbol rate symbol rate is not now I think it's it will be sufficient for my case and sure I can check uh, of of the length but in this case I will check just it's not so important but just to stay in TDD mode I just things like that so maybe it is it is not sufficient test but I will use it anyway and just let me write here I expect the result true boolean boolean actual result And let me just write here actual result and what I'm expecting about my set info object object I expect set check if symbol rate sim check if sim symbol rate not null and that's it some people will say why don't you compare uh, compare given data mm, yes I can do this but why why I should complicate my life with this quite of tedious work I mean la later when I need to write my production I will say la last production tests uh, I will do it, it anyway this is why actually you use TDD to, to to be able to to cover your code which you which you have in your code which you which you write in the production it is important to cover all of things which can happen with test but it's clearly sometimes not always possible because of time and pressure of, of the work but you, you you should be able to verify your code which you write so things like that and let me just do following so so in order to, to execute this test I need to do following let me just quickly think reading file setting up transponder frequency list probably I can use it set frequency input list result in close so uh, okay so I will basically first write here the comment okay so I need to, to make it here the stuff so this was the mistake and now I here write just check if uh, symbol rate rate is not now and this is actually what I'm what I need to do so this test um, will fail 
yes like this and now I need to create a method in my class set information class and now I expect that I will fail and let me just run the test I getting false right so simple things to need to be done um, in order to work with a symbol rate not now I need to write here integer it will be is it I think this is the same thing with uh, like with a set transport frequency list now I'm working with the lists uh, of information yeah symbol rate is a just mm, this is, happens many times so the same stuff which this is actually this, the same procedure I'm creating here a variable setting up a set transporter frequency list no I'm actually need to write here set symbol rate list and this should I should create get on setter for this so I did create it and now I need to mm, call I need to get a hold of this uh, object so I need to call it up so what I should um, boolean status of the object or status of the symbol symbol rate object And now I need to get a hold of the value. This get symbol rate list. And now I need just some of sort. Uh, so if it is empty, it returns true. And if if it and if it's not. I I will get the false. So let me just quickly think about it. So if it returns true, if this list contains no elements, I getting true. But in other case, I getting false. So it's I think this will be sufficient. So if I if my status if it is false false then I need to return true In other case, I return false. So let me just quickly format this code and okay. So is empty checks that you have an empty list and if you have an empty list then you have as a result true because it's true but I expect to have another case that my list is not uh, empty and this is actually then false so if status of the symbol rate is false then I re should return true in other case I return false and let just quickly work uh, let's just 
see how I think this will actually fail because uh, in my test set information test where is my symbol rate uh, I think sometimes eclipse make my life no better so here I think it was at the test part uh, check that's set model I, I need set information test here the part is here and I just run my test training test it should it should fail because ex expected true but was false so it works so only thing which I need to make it pass I need to initialize I need to initialize uh, my object with symbol rate let me just think how I can do this have transponder frequency list series so I need another mockup let me just change let me just change the name refactory name path to uh, frequency frequency file frequency file so and I need I need to create another mockup object uh, just simple file which will consist uh, frequency uh, lowercase yeah yeah okay sorry I just forgot my convention <laughs> yeah it happens and I need to refactor it just need to refactor it not a problem not a problem not a problem at all just rename it and that's it and now I need to create here another file which will call which I, which will have the name path to symbol rate file exactly now I need to I need to initialize this um, file and this will be actually the same path to my file which I mean here I have just write serious set symbol rate symbol rate so I take it Transponder frequency list. Ah, okay. So I just need to write here symbol rate, symbol rate, symbol rate list, and I write set symbol rate txt. All right. So I just leave it like that. And now I need to create this package. I need to create this package. In where I have my package in resources uh, test util test resources exactly here I need to create here a package new other yeah but I am um, I'm still thinking about those <laughs> those experience uh, which I had yesterday with my with parsing with a big part of the XML file it was qu quite quite challenging and I should say read documentation a lot before you do something or just create a prototype previously I, I forgot it I forgot to create prototype sometimes I just to be very quick sometimes I'm very slow it depends on the current given task 
and my mood and so serious set symbol well I have here my satellites XML and I need to get the symbol rate from my series let me just do it like this some I have a very good mouse but <laughs> some I need to to be able to stop it right where I need it and my clips should work it out so I copy the line copy the line now I I probably will make a postpone right now the recording but I will just tell you what I'm actually doing I creating this mock-up object and I'm leaving out I'm deleting all all, all of this stuff and just leaving here the numbers which I have which is a value of symbol rate so see you soon till the next time this is not the end of this uh, session but I just give you notice that I am actually taking a time to create this file and this is pretty tedious and this shouldn't be recorded at all so just take your time so see you then so I'm back and finally I have created this file and we can proceed further with our testing procedures so now we just need to make it clear what we are actually doing so what we have here ready read file to frequency list okay so I need to create a frequency it's a list this is almost the same code we can just copy here uh, set transponder I will say symbol rate symbol rate, symbol rate input list and what I need I just need a setter for this purpose so get on setter set transponder symbol rate input list like, like this and reading I want I do not want to duplicate this code. What should I do? I just copy I just copy this because yeah. Mm, reading files setting up transponder symbol rate list symbol rate list. So path to file, list integer, add result, set, I need another setter, set, it's wrong place, you need to do like this. Yeah, but I will use it later. Like this, set transport symbol rate input list. So let me just go back to our constructor, and of course it will break our uh, other test. Sure, but I need to do this. So I just write here sys. Uh, and just to call appropriate method this point read file and transform symbol rate path to file symbol rate do I need to write here a result result is not needed All right, so the result 
is not needed because let me just think I don't need this result I need of course to define it that I that I am working here with a let me just look at an example where I am using this so reading let me just use it Yeah, it's some sort of a thing. Actually, okay, uh, doesn't matter uh, currently. So I just can here work it, work it out. Uh, this problem. I'm having a problem somewhere. Yeah. Mm, all right, so just put it like this. Not so sure that it was okay. Yeah. Okay, so next thing which I should do. Okay, so I'm reading symbol rate from the file. I'm passing uh, the, the path to this file hope it not fail it should work serious set symbol rate and now after doing this my method reads the file and sets up set transpondal symbol rate input list so this is actually interesting thing because I need to pass the list to the set information object and of course I need to work with my set information object set information object have here this uh, now I need to copy this line like that And just call it set input symbol set symbol. Let me just rename it. Okay, so now I can now I can assign a value in my constructor, and I need just to do the copy pasting here like this and this will be sufficient it will break probably my another class but I'm not concerned right now about it I just concerned to pass the test so setting I setting up uh, a list of transponder symbol rate list I do need to make it here and just new line and just I need just to write here this get set transponder symbol rate ah, I didn't wrote uh, wait, wait, wait a second did I alright so, so here I'm having a problem now I can include in my test and just like that almost the same code which I have written previously so now I have here I'm when I call to string I will print uh, print symbol rate and probably I need to write here something like set trans Ponder symbol rate 
need list. Okay, so now I don't like it that I need to write here try and catch, but but will this will be actually sufficient because yeah yeah I can I don't I don't wish uh, I don't wish to write here additional method in my test because it gets crowded crowded it's not so good so yeah things which I should deal later but right now I'm making sure that I'm passing my test where is my test is here is my test so now I need to think about so each time when I call this test actually this should this should pass let me just execute it yeah it's working it's working and it's working mm. so let me just do some quick thing let me just copy this delete it save it and execute our test and this should fail yeah now but was false so it's working anyhow now and now it should it should fail it should pass I'm passing because I have I have read the file and I load it so it works funny 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 it's good so what what about our model set model test actually don't work it because yeah it did it did fail so I now need to edit my set model mm, and now it becomes some sort of a complicate thing <sighs> okay well, it's okay actually the simplest part will be probably when I need to work out with this um, where where I have it I, I think I have here yeah the simplest part will be with the polarization fake inner um, think I think in this will be actually possible yeah it will be simple too um, all right so let me just do it one step from another step so what I should do first of all I need to create an appropriate list I decide to use linked list for this case so I need to rename it a transponder of satellites symbol rate symbol rate list like this and now I need to create getter on setter source code generate getter on setter now I have this situation and now I need to work it out so it becomes quite labor laborious work but yeah it's actually it's simple stuff but mm, the the whole difficulty is in the de details most times <coughs> okay so where I should where I should start all right so I need to do following uh, 
I have here transponder of satellite frequency list in this method. I need to create here transponder of symbol rates. Now I need to assign some values to this thing and I need to just look at our par second level XML. Get children transponder. What was transponder? Transponder was an attribute. No, it was an element. Yes, it was tra uh, transponder was an element here. Here's an element. Okay, I need this name. So let me just quickly run it. Oh, run it through. So I need to parse second level. And well, here I need to transponder frequency list. All right, so so practically, let me let me just think clearly what I'm what what I'm actually doing here. <laughs> so get crowded here in the court. I don't like it. I, this was my honest opinion. So let's just make here a line. Setting up data for SAT info object. Here I'm making my line. Transponder frequency list. Transponder frequency list parsing second level XML. Okay, basically, basically I'm parsing parsing in this code so I, all the things which I should work is here and basically basically I need to write my result All right, so okay, so I have this method, and I can use this method. I need to use this method like two times. No, oh, I mean uh, check names of set, calculate amount calls, checks of set has name set info object. So this method will be called one time and then it need to be called separately. Now it calls it, it calls sorry it, this uh, checks names of sat and calculate amount. It calls only one time. There's another method. Here's this method. This method is he calling out the transponder of symbol rate frequency list and now I just need to I need to make sure that I am passing this thing further so, so I need to actually passing a satellite frequency list okay so I'm getting only this as a result Should I write another method? I don't like the idea about writing another method. And and I don't like the idea that I need to actually... Let me just think about it. Why I use a return? I don't need to use a return. 
then it should work so I just need to make here void and uh, but this wasn't an idea okay so I'm having a problem here Mm, okay so basically basically this is this code actually can be it cannot be reused or could it could it could be reused I can re, I can reuse it but the problem is I should Ah, it can be it can be it can be reused I just need to put put it put string all right so I did found a solution ah all right so great great just great and I need to make sure that I have string with name transponder assign value transponder so I will call this with a transponder and now I will call it with um, for what should I put it uh, symbol rate symbol rate and now I'm just giving I need to look it up my XML copy value now I will do this like this symbol rate because this is only only one variable which actually changing so and now I just need to I just need to put ah, I forgot what I have done <laughs> So transponder, transponder, it, it was actually the right. Let me just go back, 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 back. No, this is not what I'm actually need to to pass to pass through. So I need to pass frequency, and I will write here string set frequency. Uh, set ah uh, no so set set transponder attribute and now I'm just sending this attribute let just make me uh, make it make it so that it will work so here I have here passing parsing second level XML and now I just need to uh, let it one string and now I need to change this parsing second element string string attribute name need to use proper convention name and just like that and now I can re reuse it uh, transponder of satellite frequency list mm, transponder of satellite frequency now transponder Transponder, transponder list values. I need to change the. I need to change the name. Okay, so I see. I need to make it here. Some changes in this code. Because I'm adding the stuff. 
so yeah it is challenging it is challenging but I'm actually I know how I can deal it how I can deal with it the transporter attribute set transponder attribute frequency ah, I need to use uh, different names okay frequency set transponder attribute frequency and then I need to write here string set trans Ponder attribute symbol symbol rate and just then just to call it don't just to call it in the right way symbol rate just to call it here symbol rate and now I need to make sure that I have here the list transponder frequency list now I need to assign assign this method so I need to assign symbol rate It looks kind of ugly. I don't like it. I don't like it, but uh, this is what I'm. This would. This is should. This should working. So. Now I need to. Let me just do this part right. I need to touch it. So next probably think will be okay so what we're doing here so we have at an attribute name and we're getting some result and we should decide now now I should think it about obviously I need this set transponder symbol rate thing to be added here this is new linked list set transponder what do I doesn't work? Uh, did I two levels deep? We link at least element one level. All right, so here I have wait a second. Ah, okay, so I just use it the global variable. All right, so it's not so good. And let me just do it here. And I don't. Let me just think about. I am call another problem with this code. So mm. 
the adding happens to a class instance variable and so actually actually this is quite funny thing <laughs> transports of satellite frequency list So basically, basically, when I create a set info object, I'm actually, I'm not, not, I'm not sure why it is so. What? Wow! Wow! Why it's so working? So. Should I get? Should I return a list or should I don't return a list? By the way, how it looks? I'm parsing through through the second layer of the XML, and I'm adding the information. Transponder of satellite frequency list. I got confused. Haha, <laughs> I got confused. I got confused. Mm, this is not good. This is actually not good. So I just got confused because I would use it. Let me just rethink my name. Let me just write here. Satellites. Let me just let me just write here. Satellites frequency list. Or not? Wait a second. Probably I think it is it is it is a problem. I shouldn't do this in this way. This is strange. This is really strange. So basically, it was not. It wasn't was done very well from from my point of view. Let me just verify the time. Well, almost one hour. All right. So the problem is obvious. I have a global variable in my class to which I add my elements. And I putting I'm returning this frequency list, but as I understand, I don't I don't actually need to do this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I am very, I am very unsatisfied with the result. So basically, basically, by the way, how I'm doing it just make me, <laughs> make me somehow sad. Because because I'm adding to the global variable. Each time when my parsing second level XML is called, I creating new instance of transponder of satellite frequency list. After that, I call 
to this object and add to this object my stuff each time when when the for each loop runs and then actually i think the i think i shouldn't use this type of return and i will make it obvious i shouldn't use this return now i need to figure out uh, now I, d I should figure out and it breaks my code here here and I don't care I just delete this and make it like this and like this probably better like this attribute frequency at set a transponder attribute frequency so what I have here passing second I don't need this so and I don't need all of this and I shouldn't send any further thing it's just deleted unneeded stuff yeah it, it did confuse me a lot but it happens it happens and you shouldn't write such code which confuse people so yeah it breaks it breaks my class here and now parsing second level xml shouldn't consider this list Okay, so one level deep into SAT. One level deep into SAT. Ah, I need to, I need to just, I need just to. Alright, so actually, let me just think, let me just think clearly. So I got the situation which is pretty hard in this class maybe I need to refactor this class more because I don't like the design so what I should do how I should go through about it I have a strong will to to not do this, this line I don't need this line of code and so what should happen next what should happen next and one level deep into start let me just look at my prototype let's just look at my prototype xml prototype 
get children one level deep get children okay okay so one level deep it's an element so I expect an element element input and this is one level deep this is my input which I expect mm, I should just rename it and I expect actually lists of elements alright so input le input one level deep <laughs> okay so it's interesting problem one level one level deep it's an element get children let me just let me just think about ah and i should send and i should prepare here now what now i understand what is confusing me so i need to send here some information so first is attribute for the frequency frequency This is what I should send. Do I need to create? This is just just things which I need, need to 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 call. First, I call this like this, and I will put here XML parser. second frequency the method parsing second level element string get children returns list of elements So and and then almost the same command with uh, now I need further I need with a symbol rate symbol rate now I call with symbol rate and here I need just to make sure that I am working with the right value okay so and basically here quite inter I'm quite interesting in following so I don't need those variables basically or do I uh, let me just because it is reference referencing my main variables so mm, can break my code pretty hard <laughs> pretty hard but it, it is fun it is fun to work with such problem and I will say so what I shall do what I shall do next 
and here I am having no problem passing frequency symbol rate this is actually good stuff here I'm returning back parsing second level XML and adding stuff and here I need to make um, a switch case scenario scenario so what I should switch here switch and let me like let me extract a method factor extract method so I just write here add the it at frequency frequency lm to trans transponder because it get crowd crowding I don't like it when it when I need to make so much code so and I we, we're getting our attribute so case in this case will be for let me just quickly for the frequency I'm calling frequency and here I need to to call this method and just break after this Or should I should should I not no I shouldn't I shouldn't break because I have uh, other cases and because I have other cases and now I need to make a case here let me just think N another case will be What have we here? What we what we got? Symbol rate. Now we just need I need to make sure I just copy Z and I need to write here attribute attribute symbol rate symbol rate add the frequency lm to symbol symbol can spell it <laughs> symbol symbol rate and it's one hour okay so yeah take some time at this point heavy duty work so two things are added and I need to call it now I need to write here with the other attribute attribute frequency frequency just need to call it with the attribute because this is a more general general this is more general at representation yep attribute like that let me make 
Maybe I show that I'm using switch, right? So, yeah, get crowded in this class. I don't like it at all. Maybe before I do work with all the classes, I just look it and just to try to refactor it because I don't like it. It's not actually what I like it. So I'm thinking about how I can write my switch even better. Is it, is it possible at all? Because switch should be pretty obvious. And then another another decision will be to use switch if else and if else even I don't like it to use it if else to get it through. So switch switch should be sufficient sufficient enough and should this switch uh, I will just write here default default I will write here sys out should I write here sys out mm, let me just think about default will be I don't need the default for this case not I don't need it all so okay, so I have I see some some breakage of my code, <laughs> but anyway, how it should work? So here I creating instance instances, and do I need those instance instances? I don't use it in. I just deleted delete here because now now it it looks cleaner for the moment and so one case i have a case when the frequency My switch works like this. When I get the attribute name, and the attribute name, for example, frequency, it switch over to this case, case frequency, and then he calls add frequency element to trans to the transponder. And now I'm showing you that I'm that I am writing here to the frequency list now here I see mistake I need to write to symbol rate list let me just do it let me just do it yeah it's got crowded <laughs> got crowded but at least I got the solution that is important so let me just write here this was this method which I need to and I need to write here no not not here I mean here transport of satellite symbol rate list at and I calling this at and now I have a situation where I'm setting up things and basically the next move will be to delete transponder of satellites frequency list I don't need it I did found even better solution for this case and now I need to go to this method I, I should delete this and it does not like it I, I okay because I 
have here a comma. So set transponder of set of frequency list transponder. I think I don't need this. And let me just think where I have the problem. Okay, so when I use my builder, okay, so when I use my builder, I can, let me just think it over. So this is not actually this is actually right. This get transport of satellite frequency list, right? So where I have my next problem in the code here? Set into object. It expect an iterator, new set. Okay, so now now when I fix it now when it's fixed now when it's fixed I can move with this method now this is the point where I need to add well, this is a point where I need to add this. Uh, so wait a wait a second. Iterator over set information frequency list. Let me just think about. So constructor. I don't I don't need this. I don't need this. Was a mistake. So what I need to do? I just need to call two things. This get done, and then I first of all I need to get a a transponder frequency list. And then I just need to get a symbol rate. Get, 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 get. Um, let me just think in transponder frequency symbol rate list. Yes. So, and Create new sat info object. I don't need this. It was quite inefficient uh, from my side, but it was the code should be the tests. The side effect of the using test driven development is it is in following that your each time you increase the code quality, so it becomes cleaner each time. And here I don't need so transporter frequency list. Now it should work. All right, so I fixed my code, <laughs> but I currently got a really good pattern with my code let me just do it so that you can read it now it's not so crowded and I have my things some sort of sorted but 
Okay, so I need to make here. Make sure it's all readable. Yes, like this. And now, now I fix it. My I fix my code. And let's go. What I have done. So I discovered them that I'm actually setting up my uh, instance fields transporter of satellites frequency list and transporter of satellite symbol rate list so each time when I call my method and the name of map method which I have here is actually is actually happens happens here check if set has a name and set in and set in set info object so after i discovered that satellite have a name i'm calling i'm calling uh, i'm start to call i'm start to set up my set set object and but yeah so what happens next after i did read from jdom document some values an example of of the transponder element with a frequency list i call my parsing second level xml parsing second level xml it gets my uh, element list which is a jdom document and from this document a parsing this through and through the given attribute name i found out what i have actually passed through i call appropriate adder to my uh, to my list Trans it can be a transponder of satellite frequency list or 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 as satellite symbol rate list now i just need to save it so yeah i just refactor my code so it was blue face now it can be it can be read it after all but now i have a pattern now i have clearly redesigned it in the way which i expected so let me just run here test let me just quickly so i'm passing all of my tests this is good let's just run all of the tests now build success and where is my tests <laughs> also oh uh, i i forgot that i just pick it wrong it was from another yeah it was from another project so here i have here this pom from my main project here java bucket java fix project and now i doing my testing work pass 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 through okay fi finally 23 tests all successful now i need to validate my my object so i expect i expect that i creating proper set information objects in order to do this what i should do i should pick one of the recent tests i should pick it to a string to a string list 
Wait a second. Check if JW is. I can do. No, I need to do this test. Check, J check position from JDOM document. Let me just think it through. So ah, I don't. I didn't. I didn't written any new. I didn't written any new test. It will be quite interesting. Let me just think it. Let's just. Where I'm building? Show me building parsing. Check. JDOM document read. I need builder. Builder. My build. My builder. Building. Constructing and adding third info object, creating new third info object. I just making sure that I know. Okay, so this is okay. All right, so in order, in order to make sure that I'm getting good data. Said that my said that <laughs> so that my oh set information object is correct. I just need I just need to execute following. So I just write a test. Very 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 simple test. This test will say me following. I will use this test just to make sure uh, public void uh, check if new created set info object is not now. It's a very simple test. And this test will actually will be enough to see some result so of course i expect i need boolean result boolean expected result true and actual result and the actual result should be as follows and what should I expect I need to call my method and the method I need to call from the object set model object set model object and I will call it print print a set print all created all created set set info objects you will say why you wish to print but you checking boolean mm. so I need to rename it <laughs> I need to rename my method like uh, set info object not now check check if set info object object 
not now so not now so basically it's checking an object which was created by the class set set model and I expect to oh, basically I already have something do I have did I create it? this thing check if set info object is not now okay so I'm actually and I'm actually puzzled so I did actually create such test already and I need to I need to I need to write Then I need to write another test case. I need to write another test case <laughs> because it won't fail. Okay, uh, so in the case, uh, I will probably what I'm checking. I'm checking then not an object but the output, printed output. Check if check check contents 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 of new created object set info object not now I'm checking I'm checking uh, the contents of new created set info objects is not now and now I can I need to check contents of set info object not now this is actually what I'm checking so I need my assert assert equals expected result actual re result uh, checking if set model did loaded flex values no check if set info set info objects have content have, have con a content a content this is what I'm actually checking and now I can create this method oh no 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 I need to create a method so I have written a failing test now it's now it's clearly fails yeah like this and now I need to create a method what just happened okay so where's my method check set in public not now oh, so I need to change it once again create method I need to create a method so here is a method let me just verify it this should fail once again all right so and now I can do this uh, very cleanly so if my object and by object I mean I mean I mean I mean I'm actually need to get my set um, sorted satellites information set so I need to work with my set and all right so here I'm yeah I see I am pretty overcrowded <laughs> as I said earlier I'm just making sure that I'm doing the right stuff I know 200 lines is a maximum but let me just say stay following I do probably in the future refactor all my class and I'm doing this currently like I'm actually letting my tests to drive my code so this will stay like this but later I will 
probably refactor it to better quality so check contents if that info object is not now mm. I need have a, 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 some sort of a boolean result boolean result and, it, and I initialize it with a false and now I just need to be to iterate over this thing and let me just create here an iterator not I need to iterate over for um, um, this get get sorted satellites information sorted satellites information set and the result is here let me just write it like here and I need this is a local variable sorts of information I will say just result result maybe I don't need them because I just need an iterator uh, an iterator let me just use an iterator I have already used an iterator here iterator so iterator maybe I did use an iterator here but I for forgot let me just do this like this now I need to use an iterator so iterate over collection because I have it here a collection flex of satellite list iterator has next alright so now I just need to put I don't need to copy I just trying to do following I'm calling an iterator and now I need to iterate over and I will write iterator over set information set info objects yeah it got pretty crowded maybe if I use like this so like this and here I just need to I I checking I'm checking here let me just do th do things like this else so if I got let me just put like this so that you can read it I don't need this so what I need to do I'm actually working through my iterator and I need to check following so mm, let me just think about iterator over set object so here's an iterator next and what should it consist of I just forgot to write the columns so now and now I need to check some stuff 
equals to string. All right, so this is it. To string is a representation of a. Let me just think. What should Yeah, strings like this because I have I'm I, I'm iterating over set information, iterator over set info objects, and now I need to check it. So simply to say, uh, what I'm actually, I think I need just to, yeah, I just need to string. And here I call is it is empty and we did learn about empty function so if it is actually consists nothing I'm getting true if it consists some information I get false so let's just use it and this if I expect to have some sort of value here and I, in this case, I return, uh, I return true, because I know that I have some contents, and here I return false. And just for the presentation purposes, I need to print, uh, I just need to print this object out just out print len and I need just to call to string so let me just okay so I need to write here result true result false result result return result and of course when I when I have when I'm when I'm getting false I'm just actually making breaker and then making sure that when it fails then it fails so let me just save it now let me think about return add return statement oh I just okay so I that did so I did use it on the in the wrong place here now let me think about uh, So I will probably how many lines do I have here? Okay, so it, I will let it be like this. So let me just let me just think about. So now we have a situation. I'm iterating over set info objects, which is a set of satellite information objects. And if I found out that I'm having uh, a null, I mean an empty set info objects, I need to I need to make sure that I'm that I know that I have in my set some sort of a corrupt set information object, like things like this. So now I just need to execute my test, and I'm actually expecting to get a true because all of my objects should consist of content and let me just execute check content let me just execute only one this test case okay Okay, interesting. And did I 
set model object. Ah, I should. Yes, of course. Ah, okay. My mistake. Um, before I can, I need to call my setters. I need to setting up, setting up set model and calculate amount of satellites. Of course. This is thing. This is I almost forgotten. And let me just. Yeah, it gets it gets it gets crowded, and I don't like it, and I don't like it. Where I can put my where I need to put my code contents? I will say contents. So here, I need to try and catch. So I just copy all of this stuff. And just put it here so let me just save it and now I have a very pretty make me let me just copy the name of the test so now I just make make sure that I'm doing the right stuff read and set up DOM document calculate amount of satellite so all right so I'm Passing through my satellites point XML and I'm calculating amount of satellites so it should work. Now I just need to find my test. Here is my test and I'm just calling the stuff. Wanted expected true, but was. Do I get some output? I don't get any output. I'm pretty puzzled. Let me pause. All right, so <laughs> I took some time off, and it does give me some better perspective. Now. The problem was that I'm actually done a rookie mistake in my set model. In my set model, let me just let me just scroll open so at to the top. So I experienced some sort of funny feelings, and I just found. That I didn't use my builder method in my code. I I did written up, but I didn't call it because my tests were such structures that I didn't call it. But now I call I call my builder method, and this works. So I did work the way how to pass my values for frequency symbol rate and so on and this actually works and it's already on github and let me just show you some funny thing so this is an interesting actually method parsing second level xml this uh, method actually parsing through the values which i have in the xml satellites let me just open it satellites XML and I'm parsing over this frequency and symbol rate. Other things I did not manage to succeed today, but I think it will be done and it, 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 I think I, I, I hit a big milestone in my development in my project. Because now I can easily populate my data structure with these values. And let's just show me a proof to you that I can do this. Now I just need to run all of my tests. Now it just takes time. So I'm running my tests. So I did some refactoring, it was blue face, 
and here you go I have 24 run tests and no, zero failures zero errors nothing skipped and yeah and here is the output this is the output which I get from one of my tests so you cl clearly see that I have here one two three satellite and the numbers of frequency and symbol rate are appropriate so I did manage to work it out but it was a mistake in my model class and I must admit some code did didn't was pretty nice to me I refactor it and it was a blue face actually I was in the blue face because some of the tests didn't work and I pass it with a lot of work and then just refactor 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 and now I have here the situation so I have here switch case which always <coughs> do appropriate work so maybe not maybe but already I have established a, a path how I populate the next things which I need I need to take care about polarization pack inner and that's it for this data structure and yeah quite quite interesting experience sorry I see it's almost at two hours but it worked and it's on the github so thank you for your time and I hope you learn a lot I did I actually did learn a lot so bye bye and thank you and see you in the next coding session.